Marcus David Peters was a VCU graduate. He was a biology teacher at a local high school. It's called Essex High School. Safia Ahmad is a copy editor for the Commonwealth Times. When he was about 24 years old. On Saturday, she covered a rally for Marcus Peters, an unarmed black man who was shot by police officers in Richmond. On May 14th, he taught a full day of classes at Essex High School, and then he went home. He worked a part-time job at um, the Jefferson Hotel as a security guard. Around 5 p.m., he was seen leaving his house, and then later that evening, he was seen at the Jefferson Hotel. Just a little bit after that, he, he drove off from the Jefferson. He was on Belvedere and apparently was driving kind of recklessly, hit a couple cars, and then was near the on-ramp of I-95 where he lost control of his car and crashed into the tree line on the side. And at that point, a an officer from Richmond Police Department hey, showed up. By then, his name is Michael Netanyaki. Marcus Peters got out of the car. He was completely naked. Male is naked on 95. And he ran out into the highway where cars were coming, and he got hit by one of the cars. Male just ran into 95 and got struck. Started rolling around. Can I get in ASAP? Clearly disoriented, kind of yelling stuff. 427, male seems to be mentally unstable as we speak. And then he came back off the highway and started running towards the officer. Stay in the car! Officer had a taser ready. He shot it once. Back the fuck up! Put the taser down or I'll kill you. I'll deploy it. But it didn't work. I might have tried it a couple times, but it didn't work. And so then he used his gun and he shot Peters twice. At that time, he was the only officer on the scene. He called for backup. Some other officers came just a little while after he shot Peters, and medics arrived a little later and took Peters to the hospital, and he died later that night. And do we know whether Peters was armed or unarmed? Well, he was completely naked at the scene, and he had nothing in his hand, so he was unarmed. So what was the public reaction when all this happened? The family, first of all, came out and spoke a lot, and that kind of incited a lot of public reaction as well. They were very, very angry at the whole situation, and they have been asking for a lot of justice in the name of Marcus Peters because they've claimed that the whole situation was because Marcus was suffering from a mental health crisis at the time, and that the man that, you know, climbed out of the car naked and ran into the street and charged at the officer is not the person that they, you know, knew and loved, and they've been kind of demanding justice, and that's been the reaction of of, I believe a lot of citizens in Richmond. It's been a very sticky situation because a lot of Richmond officials have not wanted to comment on it. Following the shooting, the officer was put on a paid administrative leave. But as the investigation went on, they released the body cam footage of the officer, and they also released a test that showed that Marcus had drugs in his system. At the time, it was THC and Ritalin, according to those tests. And on the basis of those two things, the, the Commonwealth attorney, Michael Herring, declared the situation a justifiable homicide. This past Saturday, there was a National March for Justice and Reformation, which was held in the name of Marcus David Peters. He was unarmed. Unarmed. This is the middle of the day, off a busy highway, a high school biology teacher, gun down. The march started at the Siegel Center, and the reason for that was because Marcus graduated from the Siegel Center. They gathered everybody there, and they gave a few speeches, and then they started marching, and they marched towards the Jefferson Hotel, which was the last place that Marcus was seen before he was killed, other than the scene. And then they marched to their end point, which was the Richmond Police Department. And what were people asking for um, with yes, this march? Yes, Amnesty International, I talked to a couple people from there, and they mentioned that they have five demands. One that they really emphasize, and it's called a civilian review board. Basically, the concept is that there's a group of people 
who are representative of, you know, the city's population that make decisions about certain controversial topics like such rather than maybe just a group of elites or the Richmond officials or the Richmond Police Department itself or et cetera. And they really, really emphasize that. Everyone I talked to kept talking about a civilian review board. But I mean, in general, what they want is justice, like like the name of the march is justice and reformation, you know? They want black and brown bodies to not be at a lower level than the rest of the bodies in the United States of America.